love is one of the craziest things in life. It can make you or break you. There's no knowledge of what awaits you. Tune into this episode of True Love Knots. Maria Romano will discuss love bombing. She would be sharing with us what it's all about for us to avoid getting hurt. Hello, everybody. How are my lovers out there looking for love? Maria Romano here from True Love Knox. So when you hear this podcast, we will be coming off of Valentine's Day. Now, maybe you met somebody. The topic I want to share with you today is all about love bombing. I want you to be aware of love bombing so that you don't get hurt. And as you know, I am a dating coach. I am a minister. I talk to individuals and groups of people looking to find love again, especially those over 50, because I know what it's like. It's not easy. Hey, getting back in the dating world. So listen to the very end. I'm going to give you some great information. Now you might have met somebody that, and more in particular, this is for my uh, women listeners more so than men, although it could happen. It could happen to you. Have you met somebody and they just seem to push your buttons emotionally, right? They say the right things. They bring you flowers. They bring you candy. They just seem to every time you think about them, boom, they're texting you. Have you ever thought that you're being love bombed? Yeah, love bombed. And usually what happens is when individuals start to love bomb someone, it's because they have a lot of insecurities themselves. And sometimes they do this just for the sake of trying to lure someone. It's known as, you know, the thrill of the kill. I hate to use that term, but it's true. So they can just, you know, get you to fall for them. And maybe they might be a scammer. Hey, have you have you actually watched that uh, show that's on Netflix? It's called The Tinder Swindler. So watch it. Like, definitely a must to see. Now, that doesn't mean that online dating is all about that. That's not the case because there's a lot of great people out there that are looking to find love again. But if you meet somebody right away and they seem to agree with everything and meet your needs and tick off the boxes right away, just, I want you to just be careful and put it in back of your head because you could be love bombed. And I don't want to see that happen to you. You know, I had that happen to me several years ago. And I want to tell you something. That's one of the reasons I actually talk to men and women about finding love again, because it was an awful experience for me. I wound up getting involved with the, the gentleman. And before you know it, uh, when we actually parted ways, he wound up stalking me. But that's like the extreme. But what I want you to remember is when you meet somebody and when they're extremely attentive, and I'm not talking about being polite, extremely attentive, and they're bringing you gifts and candy and flowers, and they're luring you. I want you to just put the brakes on and tell them, you know what, you want to get to know them that all these things hit your right buttons emotionally. But you know what, you want somebody to be true who they are, because you could be dating them for a while, and all of a sudden, that mask comes off, and you don't like what you see. And that could have been there the whole time because that person was love bombing you. And again, they're hitting all the right emotional buttons. So make sure when you get out there to date, you date healthily, you date with your heart. Of course, your heart open, but your mind open and smart as well. And in the meantime, my dear friends, if you're looking to find love, if you need any assistance, give me a call. I'd love to help you continue to stay healthy, happy, and safe, and always spread love. Have a great day.